and have a look at layer combinations in ARCHICAD. What we're trying to determine is when we make a 3D model, a BIM model, if I turn on all my layers, there's a lot of stuff. That's pretty messy. Now we need all of that information in order to create a full BIM model, so a 3D model with this building information. And we also need it in order to create our documentation, in this case our plans, elevations, sections, and all that other stuff. Some of that is three-dimensional and some of it's two-dimensional, but we don't want to see it all simultaneously. So what we can do when we go back to a, a plan, so let's just use this ground floor plan as the, as the solution. We need to be able to turn layers on and turn layers off so we can see groupings of that information and do it simply. So turning layers on and off, we can find that through options, element attributes, layer settings, or command or control L, depending if you're using a PC or a Mac. Now, on the right hand side of this screen, we see that these are the layers. Uh, these are all layers that I've made up for myself. This is not what the standard ARCHICAD looks like. The point is that you can make all of your own layers. And you can also make all of your own layer combinations. Now, just as the name suggests, a layer turns individual groupings of things off and you determine what that is and we'll have a look at that in a minute. And then the layer combination is the grouping of those layers. So let's be specific about this to make sense of it. Command L. Let's have a look at a floor plan. And so here I've got my floor plan documentation. And we see that that will turn some layers off, some layers on. We're currently working at a scale of 1 to 100, which means this works. It's also very important to understand the relevance of scale to layer combinations. But we see that this is showing the information that we want to see on a floor plan. We've got dimensions that relate to the floor plan. In this case, we've got floor tags uh, describing some of the materials. We have detail markers. We have some floor finishes because it's not overcrowding the, the picture. But this particular drawing, or this particular layer combination, doesn't show anything to do with the ceiling, for instance. Because we can't simultaneously show the floor plan and the ceiling plan in one drawing. So what we therefore do is we have a layer combination. I have a layer combination RCP, Reflected Ceiling Plan, and when we switch this, we see that all of those layers change. The drawing changes, and we're looking at different things. We've now got a fill or a surface, and a slab in this case, that represents a bulkhead above, a beam, and the lining that we have on the ceiling, which is different to the lining that we have on the floor. We have different tags. So we have tags that represent the ceiling material. We have heights that represent the ceiling height as opposed to the floor height. We'll see that when we have a, a wall, we have lines here to show that there is a wall over the top of this door whereas when we're looking at a floor plan generally speaking we want a consistent line or no line to show that the floor is continuing through or maybe there's just one line if there's a change of flooring. Now what else do we use layer combinations for? We might be adding things like electrical or lighting. Uh, there's a few different ways of thinking about this but for me what I do is I use my electrical Sorry, I use my floor plan to draw in my electrical plan. And so here we see, just to make it simple, all of the electrical elements are in red. And a lot of the other information that we had on this drawing on the floor plan has been turned off, such as dimensions, such as those tags, door and window numbers, because that would be crowding and complicating this drawing. There's, a, again, multiple different ways to do this. We can use objects or we can use lines and basically two-dimensional annotations. I've made some of my own symbols, some of them are just groupings and some of them are actual objects in order to show my annotations. Now you can do this in a few different ways in ARCHICAD. You could make this red and then printing out in red. So let's just go to my drawing, stay on the way, same story. And in this case I'm choosing to print this drawing with the red element still in red so that the electrician can very clearly identify what is his domain. The next set of layer combination that we can find 
let's go back to this is a lighting plan now when I go to my lighting plan we'll see that this switches and instead of now being a floor plan this now turns into the reflected ceiling plan with the additional overlay of the lighting information. Now this lighting information again is a combination of symbols that I've made. Some of these are just combinations of lines and some of these are objects. If we go into the object library we can see that uh, I've brought in some of my own uh, or from migrated from other libraries but there's also a whole big file under 2D elements in the general Archicad library and we can find a whole lot of different elements to represent what we're trying to show. So you can use those and of course what we do in order to make these work for us is that we need to select an object and then make sure we put it on the right layer and that layer will make sure that it's visible when we want to see it and invisible or turned off when we don't want to see it. Now how do we make this intelligent? What we do is we add layer combinations and scale to our save view. So if I right click go into my view settings of this save view here we see that under our save view settings we have layer combinations, scale and a lot of other options to customize a, a drawing and that allows each drawing to be changed instead of going to the layer combination and changing it manually we can change this with a click of a button or a double click of a button and of course this allows us to place our drawings on individual layouts and let's just have a look at a few of these so here we've got our upper ground floor plan upper ground reflected ceiling plan upper ground electrical plan, upper ground lighting plan, upper ground joinery plan, <laughs> getting there, upper ground furniture plan, and these are all the same drawing, the same model, but using different layer combinations in order to show different information. That's the general idea of layer combinations and that's what we use it for. In the next video we'll have a look at how to create layer combinations and how to manage them effectively.